Hi everyone and welcome to another of my video. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you consider to subscribe and be part of Didi family. And everybody else that is already subscribed to my channel, I'm so happy to see you again. It's I bought a bunch of stuff from Timu app and I watched a couple of videos while I was away where people reviewed Timu products and most of the people that I watched loved those products. I didn't have a best experience with stuff for the house but if you're interested to watch that video I will link it down up here so you can watch that after watching this but I didn't have a good experience with that but we are here to try the makeup full face of makeup and just let's start couple of products here uh, let me just re uh, moisturize my skin I've been using this uh, Dr. How Carthine pronounced rose day cream and I've been really enjoying it really enjoying this cream I don't know it's thick it's nothing like I've used before for the face but I've been really enjoying it I'm going to have this as my base first because I forgot to put my face cream on before. But we are going to go into the palette while this sinks. I don't have a eyeshadow primer, unfortunately, from Timu, but I am going to use Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow primer and just because it has some coverage. And because I have it here in front of me. Both the sponges from Timu and it came in this package and it this is how big it got and I actually bought it because I like the package. Uh, I don't know how these will work but it's soft. Oh I'm surprised because usually these kind of products from Sheen, the sponges from Sheen, another website are too stiff but this one feels really soft with my puff from Beauty Blender just with some powder because I use, always set my eyeshadows and the palette that I bought is Coco Urban this cute palette, look at it I couldn't resist it, it looks so cute on the website and look at the inside this is this is the eyeshadow. I feel like this red one is glitter, but this is the palette. Very cute. I really enjoy the palette. Unfortunately, there is no mirror in here, which I wish it was. But this is such a cute palette, and we are going to use it today. Feels like there are three mattes, and others are shimmers, except this one that's glitter. But this is okay. It's definitely a weird texture they are hard pressed well I don't know what I think about the swatches not the best but we'll see how it will perform on the eyes they are a little bit too hard pressed I will go use this then the pink one and then the third matte shade on my lid that's all mattes Okay, so this one you can't really see, the nude one. And the brush is not picking a lot of product. Maybe it's because it's hard pressed. And this is a Cash Beauty brush. Let's move to the pink one. Pink matte. Okay. Can't see it. My brush is not picking a lot of product. I'm really swirling in the palette, if you can see. I can see a little bit of the dust, but it's on the eyes, nothing is showing. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, I'm not liking this so far. Another brush instead. 
Okay, I'm going to go in with this Luna Beauty LBE3 brush. I'm going to go into this darker brown eyeshadow. This brush picks this eyeshadow up, but it's so bright. I thought it would be a little bit deeper, so we can deep up the crease. Maybe we can build it up. I mean, it's it's blending, but it's blending into nothing. So far, I'm not really impressed with the palette. Let's go to this deepest brown shimmer shade. I'm using the same brush. Let's see if we can pick it up with a brush. Okay, let's see. I'm really digging in here. And nothing. Nothing. Okay, change the brush. Let's go and use a more dentist brush, dense the brush. Feels like these eyeshadows are really hard pressed. This is the rose gold from Zoeva, and it's two hundred and two hundred and thirty. And I'm really going in there. Something, something, but not. A lot is coming out. Okay. It's really hard pressed. I'm just working in like a mani maniac in this. Okay, now we have some pigment. Patchy, I don't like it. Um, okay, let's just move on. I'm going to go into this darker red with my finger and Try to get some pigment. It's really hard pressed pigment on there and okay, okay, wait, something's happening. Okay. So with my finger it works much better. But you need to press and pull, press and pull, and that for my hooded eyes and my skin. Oh, maybe not the best. It's crumbly, it's chunky. Okay, I am actually very curi curious to see this shade here, this one. Like this pinkish champagne color. Mm, turns white, let's go with another one. We're not liking that. Let's go with this pink next to it. Okay, this one is a little bit better. It turns light pink, but I thought that this one will be like that. But I mean, the color is beautiful, but I feel like I need to press it hard to get this pigment on the eye. I wouldn't recommend this palette, if you, even if you're on low budget. I will give you advice to buy something from e.l.f. or something from maybe Colourpop or other palettes that are easier to work with. I do want to go in with this orange color just a little bit between these two shades and maybe marry them together. Is it working? No, nothing. Shame because it's cute palette but no I won't never use it. I won't use it again. I didn't buy a primer but I am going to use this plump right back from NYX, just a little bit. It smells nice too. Oh, my eyes feel dry and my under eyes feel dry for some reason, I don't know why. I have two kind of foundations. This is how the out, outside packaging look like. Look like. BB Professional Cream and let's open it. I mean the pack outside package is nice. Oh, this is glass. And the shade is I think I think they had two shades. I I have no idea what shade it is actually. I didn't only buy this. I also bought this one, Beauty Cream. And I've seen this couple similar products everywhere for a while. That's like a sponge 
and when you press the product it's it's like a cushion foundation but not so you get the product here and then you get the sponge feels plastic cheap but kind of cute and it says number two I think that's the color or shade they I think they have like one or two shades this is really hard to open oh you twist okay this is the product and you get the brush or sponge and you press it into the product and then on the face I will actually try to use both of these uh, both of these foundations just to see the product itself so let's go in with this spongy thing first this feels like to be like a paper yeah it's not like a cushion I thought this would be like a cushion like soft something like similar to this like a sponge oh you get the but I feel like it's going to break easy if I press too hard let's try on one side of the face with this sponge let's see the coverage but don't press hard oh this feels wet this is I don't like the sponge it's too hard but it is what it is the shade is fine I mean light coverage definitely gives me glow but I'm afraid to press with the sponge into this because it's so thin and I think I will break the package most uncomfortable sponge ever I don't know if I was supposed to wet it or not but I mean it feels a light feels definitely cooling because it's so wet giving me the glow I mean it gives me decent coverage it's not full coverage but definitely light to medium doesn't feel comfortable on the skin this is like a light coverage foundation looks like my skin definitely looks like my skin it feels like I have a moisturizer on that's very dewy let's go in with this foundation this okay there you go oh this is thick Ugh. sorry but it <laughs> this looks so weird this is thick guys look how thick this is I mean mm, okay well let's use it on this side definitely deeper than the uh, this first foundation we used let's use the sponge that we bought with the product and this is it has a strong scent as smells like a perfume where is the coverage is it because I use the sponge do I have a clean brush let's try a brush instead because the foundation just soaked up everything okay oh the scent is so strong so it's definitely to a fuller coverage and it doesn't look bad I have to say uh, it's more coverage than, coverage than this side it, uh, similar to color I will go in with the sponge again and maybe just I mean I like how it looks on the skin it looks just like my skin it feels like it minimized the pores or looks like it minimized the pores it looks really nice on the skin though I'm surprised and the color is not too bad I mean they only had like maybe one or two color shades but it's not too bad there is a breakout here now if you can see it's visible but it's not bad but we are not done there no we are not we have a concealer and this is a concealer in number one this is the outside packaging and it's just called concealer high definition flawless concealer and it's shade number one it's very light though I don't know what I went for this color or shade maybe I don't know if they had other shades or not okay let's just see how it's going to blend oh why I put myself 
Oh, this is so strong scent. Oh my god, that's strong. Okay, this is definitely not, not full coverage concealer because it blended away and I can still see my imperfections under it, but it's light coverage, brightening, pro, bright, brightening more brightening than covering, but it's not. I mean, it goes on nice. We are going to go to the loose powder. This is the packaging, outside the packaging. It's just like a loose setting powder. It comes with a puff, we are going to use it, and it has this cap on, which I really enjoy and prefer. Looks like every other powder. Let's just remove the creases, if there are any. And it definitely minimized my pores and mattified. Pores, where are they? Yes, this has a scent too. Not as strong as the other products, but definitely is there. Definitely on the mattifying side, very matte. So if you don't like matte powders, you won't like this. But I mean, it's not a bad powder. It doesn't look like I have any foundation on when I look very close. This side feels more natural than this. This is more medium coverage right now, if I can say myself. But I like it. So far I'm liking it. Now, I bought a bronzer, of course. Um, it's Mislin, Beach Please, Barbados Babe. Does this remind you of anything? Yeah, I think it does. Did at least for me. This is the bronzer. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Doesn't have any special scent. Let's go in with the brush. Oh, definitely has a lot of kickback. Okay, let's go in. Well, this is visible on the skin. Definitely not as dry as the eyeshadows. It feels like the foundation on the skin, it's moving here. It moved while I was applying the bronzer and I wasn't pushing a lot. Not as much as the on this side. This one is fine. Is it the bronzer or is it the foundation or what it is, but it's patchy here. Definitely moving around, blending a little bit away of this bronzer. I mean, the bronzer, it's not the best, but it's fine. I could see myself use the bronzer again. I do like the color of it. Uh, it's more on the warm side, but not too yellow that it makes me look orange. Blush, yes, we do. We have a blush XIXI. This is the packaging, and it says Flower Language Tipsy Blush, number one. I think they had two shades, and I thought this one was cuter. Very cute blush. Let me open the package. Plastic, feels cheap, but look at the blush, it's very cute. So I'm going to go in with my brush and just roll around it's definitely picking up some product it's light, very bright i thought it would be darker but you know what it shows on the face oh well you're very, very blushy though I do like this blush. Like it warms on my skin more. And it's not as bright on my face as it is on the in the packaging. It's more on the orangey side and it is pinkish when I look at myself, but you let me know. 
I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. I could see myself using this one, this product too. Let's go with the highlighter. We have a CM or Cheek Me Shimmer Glow Highlighter Duo. This is the outside packaging. Ooh, oh my god, I love the packaging color. This packaging I do like. Feels cheap though still, but oh, it's a little bit dark, deeper than I thought it would be. They had two shades and I think I ordered the lighter one. Let's see if we can... They look very similar. Okay, let's just go with the brush. Um, didn't expect this. Let's remove and use the mirror. The mirror is nice. We are going to go and use this color here and see if it's too deep. Oh, definitely a little bit too deep. But I thought I had bought the lighter shade. Does it say what shade it is on the packaging? Yes, it's peachy glow. It's peachy glow. And let's go with this other color on the other side. Whoa. Oh. I'm not the fan of the highlighter color shades though. I don't know the product itself. It's not the bad, but it's not blending as easy as I thought it would. So I'll go in with a sponge and try to calm it down a little bit. So it feel like it's too harsh. I also bought a brow product, a brow pencil, and uh, this is in, this is called stere Stereoscopic Eyebrow Pencil, and it's in shade, oh, read the shade names, I have no idea. I don't know what shade it is, but this is how it looks. On the side it has like this tip and it has a brush on the other side. Well, not the best brush, but it's there. Let's try the product. It's a really nice color or shade. A little bit warmer for my eyebrows than my liking, but it's pigmented, but not too pigmented can definitely build it up. Oh, the brush is soft. I'm liking the brush. Actually, I can definitely see myself use this again. It's fast for my eyebrows. We're going to use my eyelash curler and curl my lashes and we are going to go into the mascara. And the mascara I have, this is the outside packaging. And it's, I think it's black, Memoraba Volumizing Mascara. And I really like the packaging, it's metallic, and I like this ombre. Oh, the one doesn't look bad though. Oh, the smell is terrible. Why did I smell it? Who knows? Okay, it separates my lashes, so this is one coat. I mean, I'm not hating it. I hope it doesn't smudge. We'll see. But so far, I'm liking the mascara. And I'm not going to go in and apply any of the eyeshadow on the lower lash line. No, we are not going that road today. I mean, I like the mascara for like an everyday mascara so far. I'm really surprised. I thought I wouldn't, I thought I wouldn't like mascara because I'm picky. But I could, if it doesn't smudge, I can see myself use it again. Okay, let's go for with the last part. This is the D&M Matte Lipstick 24 Hours Lip Liner. And I think this is two in one. I have no idea what shade. Number three, shade number three. I don't know what it says, but this is how it looks. And one side we have a lipstick. And the other side we have a lip pen. And this looks to be a little bit too bright. Yes, it is. Mm, well, it didn't look this bright on the website. Let's go in with the lip liner. 
Oh, this is too bright. Oh my god. No, I need to go in with a darker lip liner. This is too bright for my liking. Going in with Rebecca Stella number two. Love her lip liners. Let's go now with the lipstick. I mean, lip liner is soft, not the best. It's a little bit too soft for my liking, but I mean, let's look at the lipstick. Oh, it's so thick. Oh my God, it stinks. <laughs> oh my God, no. Oh God, no. This is too thick, look. How crusty and disgusting this looks. I mean, these colors work nicely together. Oh my God, this is too thick and too crusty. I don't know if this is only the shade, but let's see. I just dropped my um, highlighter. I'm going in with the lip gloss. This is Luna Beauty in shade Cavern, I think. Cavern. It's like a shimmery. Oh god, yes. Moisturizing. Mm. Smells beautifully. And mm, now I like it. Mm, I like it more. Definitely helped a little bit with the blending and also with the moisture. That was everything, guys. So let's see. Let's see what do we think. The mascara transformed a little bit here on the lid, but don't mind. I mean, I like the colors. At, at the end, we made it work. So I do like how the end results look on the eyes, but I wouldn't use this again. I don't think so. No, I won't use it because I know I have other that I like a little bit more. Eyeshadows. The foundation, it's not bad. Neither of these. I mean, this is more like a light coverage, but also I'm not hating it. I will play with it a little bit more, definitely. This is more like, I, I won't say full coverage, maybe when you build it up, but it still looks like my skin. It's not bad. I think the brush works better than the sponge because I did remove a little bit of the foundation when I went in with the sponge. Uh, so maybe the foundation, that foundation and the sponge don't like each other, but with the brush could work. Um, what else? The concealer, it's fine. I don't see myself using it again because it's a little bit too light coverage for my taste. What else? The powder, I did like. I will use the powder again. The blush, I did like. The bronzer, I did like. I will try to play with it a little bit more. Mascara, I did like. The eyebrow product, I did like. The lip product, I didn't like. No. The highlighter, I didn't like the colors, the shades. And it's not easy to blend. I thought this would be lighter. I didn't bought the other shade because they, were, they looked on the website darker, but maybe I just fooled myself. Um, I mean, it's not a bad highlighter. It's just my preference. I don't like the shades and it's harder to blend. But otherwise, I mean, it turned out fine. Let me know down below if you tried any of the Timu products. What do you think about them? Is there anything else you want me to try out? Let me know down below. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.